Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so that I'm able to continue creating this content. In this video, I'm going to explain everything there is to know about the human heart. The pericardium is a thin sac that surrounds your heart, which protects, lubricates and keeps it in place within your chest. The heart is comprised of four chambers, the left and right atria and the left and right ventricles. It also contains four valves, the atrial, mitral, tricuspid and pulmonary valves. And finally, there are two nodes, the sinus node and the atrioventricular node. Now, to overview the contraction of the heart, the first stage is the conduction of the sinoatrial node, which is controlled by the funny current. Electrical impulses travel across the walls of the atria, causing them to contract. When the signals reach the atrioventricular node, it passes signals down the bundle of his in the cardiac septum, and then up the ventricular walls via Purkinje fibres. This causes ventricular contraction. For an explanation on how these electrical signals cause the cardiac cells to contract, you can see my video on cardiac excitation contraction coupling the link for which I will provide below. So let's see how this translates to blood flowing around the heart and body. First, deoxygenated blood enters the heart via the vena cava and enters the right atrium. When the right atrium contracts, the tricuspid valve is forced open and blood flows into the right ventricle. The right ventricle then contracts, forcing open the pulmonary valve and blood flows out of the pulmonary artery. This carries the blood to the lungs, where it becomes oxygenated in the alveolar capillaries. This oxygenated blood re-enters the heart via the pulmonary vein and enters the left atrium. When the left atrium contracts, the mitral valve is forced open and the blood flows into the left ventricle. When the left ventricle contracts, the aortic valve is forced open and blood flows through the aorta. This carries blood to the entire body where it delivers the oxygen. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. I'll be back with more pharmacology videos soon.